Okay, in the last few that we've looked at, um, we've talked about the product rule, we've talked about the quotient rule, we've also talked about simplifying radicals and, and then putting them together. In every single one of those, the um, radicals always had the same index no matter what. But what happens if that's not the case? In this case, this index is an understood 2 and this one is a 3. If they are not the same, then we cannot just multiply the radicands. It's not possible. We have to go about it a slightly different way. Okay, now looking at this, the only thing that we can do at this point is just rewrite them. The square root of 3 would be the same thing as saying 3 to the 1 half power. And the cube root of 4 would be the same thing as saying 4 to the 1 third power. Now, because we're working with fractions, um, and because these do not, uh, um, these these exponent or these bases rather, I should say, are not the same thing, so we cannot just start working with the exponents. But what we can do is we can get the denominators of those exponents the same. You'll see why here in just a minute. But that's what we're going to work on now. We want to change these into a denominator of six so that they'll both have the same denominator. So one half we can rewrite as uh, three sixths and one third we can rewrite as two sixths. So now we can multiply, no we can't because they're still not the same base, right? Hmm, what can we do? Well maybe if we try changing it back into the radical now we'll see something. So this would actually be the sixth root of 3 cubed times the sixth root of 4 squared. Now how about that? Now our index is the same for both of these. So now we could put those together underneath the same radical. We could multiply our radicands. 3 cubed would be 27 times 4 squared would be 16 and when we multiply 27 times 16, this would be the sixth root of 432. Now, I went ahead and made out a list of our perfect six powers over here to try and save a little bit of time. 432, well the biggest um, perfect square that we could look for would be 2 to the 6 because that's 64. But if I were to try and break that down into 64 times something, we realize that, that it doesn't go in there evenly. So there's really nothing that we can do here. We just have to say it's as simple as it's going to possibly get. Hey, let's try another one, see if we can get through this one. Here we have the cube root of 2 times the sixth root of 3. And again, when they're not the same index on either one, so let's try changing them back into fractional form. So this would be 2 to the 1 3rd times 3 to the 1 6th. And again, because our bases are not the same, we can't work with the exponents, but we can get those exponents to have the same denominator. We can rewrite 2 to the 1 3rd as 2 to the 2 6th, and then we can rewrite 3 to the 1 6th. Oh, well that already has that denominator, so let's leave that as 3 to the 1 6th. Now by doing that, we have now made those roots the exact same. So if I rewrite that, that would be six, the 6th root of 2 squared times the 6th root of 3 to the first power. And now that the index is the same for both, we can go ahead and write it as a single radical. So this would be the 6th root of 2 squared, which is 4, times 3 to the first, which is 3. So this would be the 6th root of 12. And again, there is not a perfect 6th power that goes into that, uh, so we just have to say that's as simple as possible.